on. Oh, I got to turn the room on. Oh, that might. You're not recording now. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the startup procedure. Okay. Well, you missed half of it. Okay. Well, we have the one uh, computer panel over there that controls the um, the IIP over there. So that was that first one I turned on. This will turn the uh, entire room on or off. I pushed it up to turn it on. Anytime you have to re reset that, or if you have a power failure due to electrical storms or whatever outside, we got to hit this button here to reset that. That's supposed to help um, so that we don't have any impacts from sudden electrical surges or anything. And that just turns all the rest of the room on. Oh, okay, so this rig over here that you were showing us, mm -hmm. that is a line voltage compensator. Yes. Okay. So we sometimes we'll have a uh, loss of power due to, you know, uh, thunderstorms or we've had wrecks that have taken out power poles, stuff like that. So anytime we lose the power, it switches over to um, to the uh, generators that the hospital has. Um, you got to hit that reset to, to get that back online. Now this is our Shimatsu room. Both our ER rooms are the same. Um, this two, all these controls right here are for all your different uh, movements for the two. Which is all that. And you can also move this direction as well. And this is your all free so that you can just move it anywhere you want. The cool thing about these two rooms are that we also have controls back here so you can work with your patients and be on this side of the table and still control the tube from this side and you can still reach your collimators here for collimating. The table itself has controls on both sides for moving your top around, also for moving the table up and down. So you can control that on both sides. We also have this handy little thing right here where you can just push down on that and move your table anywhere you want. Also you have up and down on this as well. The table is super nice because it has a 650 pound weight limit. Do you have a problem with uh, like large patients coming into the ED? We do get quite a few, and I have actually had one patient since we've gotten this room that I couldn't even put him on this table because he was 736 pounds. So we had to shoot all his stuff in the stretcher, and just using the tube and board. Wow. <laughs> this over here, the uh, wall bucky, move up and down here, but also. have it all set up to the wall bucky and you can also hold on. There's also a button back here. It'll also move the uh, tube right there. Oh nice. Line it up for you. So it makes it really nice to use. We also have this up here, so we'll turn this up. So if you're going to lateral, they have something to have to hold on to. It makes it a little easier for them to get their arms out of the way and also stay more still. Okay, just out of curiosity, yeah. if I have a patient there and I move my tube up. If you move the tube, you have to move this. Okay. Up. If you move this, then you can get the button to move the tube. Gotcha. Okay. Either way is acceptable, but if you have to be over here and adjust this, then it's just real easy to hit the button let that go line itself up. So. Okay, uh, what about the imaging receptors? Can we use the same oh, image, yeah. imaging receptor in the table and the chest stand? The one that's in here, 17 by 17. We never take it out of here. Um, 
the, these ones are a little more expensive. I think they're 125,000, if I remember right. So they stay in here, they stay tethered up, so they always have power. We never take it out. The other one is uh, cheaper. It's only $100,000. We try to keep it tethered up when we're not using it. The uh, batteries, however, right here, we do have to change it out. They're very easy to change out. You just pop one out, pop another one in. If, uh, if you change it like real quick, it has like a 30 seconds time limit where, um, where it won't have to uh, go through a total uh, reinitialization or anything. So it'll be ready to go. This oh. one we will use for tabletop or also in the uh, table bucky. So this one you will have to handle, but you just got to handle real carefully, keep two hands on it all the time. You can uh, you know, put it in either way you want, need to, depending on what type of picture you're taking. How is the weight of that thing compared to the old Fuji cassettes? These ones are about half the weight. They are a lot lighter, and yet they are twice as strong as the other ones. These um, have a, if I remember correctly, about a uh, 500 pound weight limit with a 200 pound, 250 pound pressure point. So just one little spot of 250 pounds for this. Um, the old ones, it probably messed it up pretty good. But these ones are twice as strong and half, half the weight or superior. All right, excellent. And the other room is identical to this one? Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right. Um, Ms. Bashirs, do you have any questions? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Michael. Appreciate it.